Hi guys, it's me, Mr. Bertosh, your fabulously fabulous and wonderful and stuff science teacher. And in this video, we're going to learn about organs and organ systems. <music> Another video I talk about how your body is made up of these tiny little living bricks called cells and in another another video I we talk about the outsides of our body and the parts that are on the outside of our body and how these parts work together in order to allow us to thrive in our environment so Parts like your ears and your nose and your eyes and your hands are all made out of cells. And so too are the parts on the inside of your body. And in this video, we're going to be talking about those parts. So cells combine, we're talking like millions of them, millions and millions of cells. So in total, there's about 100 trillion cells in your body. And millions and millions of them combine to make different organs, what we call organs, which are the parts on the inside of your body, like your lungs and your heart and your stomach, que uh, es un estómago en español, uh, your intestines, uh, your kidneys, your pancreas. So all of these parts and others, organs, your brain, uh, all of them each of them are made out of cells, and each of them have a specific job that is important to keep you alive. Why do you have a brain? Why do you need a brain? What is the important job that the brain does? Can you live without a brain? Can you do very much without a brain? Well, no, obviously. The brain is important because it lets you think in a controls that your movements and actions and lets you interact with your environment, you need a brain. So your brain does a very important job. Same with your heart. Uh, your heart pumps blood through your body, which helps to move water and nutrients and oxygen and chemicals, hormones and things around your body. It's like the highway system of the body. And if your heart stops pumping, you die pretty quickly. Okay, now you need a stomach. What does your stomach do when it growls? What is it telling you when your stomach growls? What important message is it saying? It's saying, I am hungry and I need a cookie and you need to eat something, right? Your stomach digests your food for you so that you can have energy throughout the rest of your body. And... um. I got totally sidetracked. Uh, what were we talking about again? Oh, yeah, we are talking about organs. Uh, what about your, I don't know, pick a part. What about your intestines? That's part of, that helps the stomach with digestion. Okay, or your uh, kidneys. Kidneys clean your blood. They clean the what's called urea, which is a chemical that your cells produce. It's a waste product that your cells make, ureic acid. They dump it in this, your cells all day long are constantly dumping ureic acid into your blood and then your kidneys clean it out and it looks kind of yellowish and we call it pee and it goes into your bladder or urine, it goes into your bladder. Bladder is another important organ that helps us so that we can store urine instead of just wet ourselves all day long and then we can find a convenient time when we can let that urine out. Okay, uh, So your each organ in your body does an important job to help keep you alive, whether it's digest your food so that you have energy or like your heart to move blood around your body or like your lungs to allow you to breathe, to get air or like your brain allows you to think. Okay. All of the organs in your body, every single one, even the appendix, 
uh, which is kind of debatable, but all of your organs have an important job that help to do some sort of job to keep you alive. All of your organs are made out of cells. So the cells combine to form organs and then the organs combine to form what we call organ systems. Well, what in the heckins is an organ system? An organ system is a group of organs that work together to do a certain job. Examples of an organ system would be the digestive system, which is made up of more than one organ. It's made up of your uh, esophagus. It's made up of your stomach and your, well, your mouth and your tongue and then your esophagus and then your stomach and then your, uh, your small intestines and then your large intestines and then your bottom. And the food goes like a water slide down your mouth and through your stomach and through your intestines and out your bottom into the potty. And it's no longer food. It is now something else. And uh, it all of those organs have worked together to turn delicious birthday cake into something kind of gross that goes into the toilet. And in the process of that, taking the nutrients out of it so that you can use those nutrients to live and to be healthy, although birthday cake isn't that great of a healthy option, but it is great in terms of being tasty good. So that's the digestive system. Many organs working together to digest your food. Another system would be your uh, skeletal system, which is made up of all of the bones in your body. Each bone is a, each individual bone is a different organ, but they are all combined together to form a system of organs, many organs, many bones working together to give you structure, like the guy, the skeleton in the background behind me, wearing a Slytherin tie. Um, and then you have your muscular system, which is all your muscles working together. You have your nervous system, which is your brain and your spinal cord and your nerves, all these different parts, different organs working together in order to control your body. So cells combine to form organs we could say tissues, but we're going to skip that for now. Cells combine to form organs, and organs combine to form organis or organ systems, and then organ systems combine to make you. A bunch of organ systems inside parts that are inside your body and parts that are outside your body that all work together so that you can thrive and be amazing and awesome and do things like play and swing and swings and do jump rope or whatever it is you do uh, to be active. Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. These rambling science videos where I go unscripted and just kind of barf up all the science knowledge out of my head are part of a series that go along with an online class that I teach, which you can sign up for if you go to handsomescienceteacher.com. I also have a whole bunch of free resources for homeschoolers. I have uh, hundreds of articles on every topic that uh, covers your entire science curriculum from fifth through eighth grade. I have online games and quizzes all curated and written by uh, this handsome guy, uh, a science teacher with, well, three. Three degrees, but two of them are in science. So it's uh, targeted right to and directly to your, uh, your science student. So sign up, subscribe to the channel, and I release lots of videos. Also, in addition to these ones, lots of little uh, short videos that are like two minutes long that cover science topics. Those ones, you don't get to see my handsome face, but they're still good videos and they're much more targeted and those ones are scripted. So you don't have to hear me like you are right now going blah, blah, blah. The end, uh, subscribe, thank you, goodbye.